you know, if you eradicate transgenderism, which I believe you suggested in a post today. No, I never suggested that. Oh, okay. You reposted a post that was advocating for that. What would happen to the people that have already medically, socially completely transitioned and are leading happy lives? What would happen to them? I mean, what's your plan for, for that? If transgenderism doesn't exist, which it seems like you're, that's what you believe, what happens to all the people living happy lives as trans people? Well, it, first of all, the whole trans is it's based on a lie. You can't change your, you can't change your gender. Okay, but so they can, they could go live their, their, their life. I mean, I can't tell someone what to do in their, in their house. Sounds like you do want to tell people what to do in their house. I never said that. So you're totally okay with people being trans, just not as long as they're in public. No, I never said that. They could, it's the whole thing is based off of a lie. And I think that, um, the fa this lie cannot be mainstream in our, in our society. It's just, it's a lie. And what harm is it causing, do you believe? Um, I like the truth. I like truth. Right. But I'm saying what, what's the, what's the harm of people expressing their gender identity differently than you believe it to be? What, what harm are they causing? Um, like I said, we are a, a, um, a nation of truth and I, I'm, I'm, I seek the truth. But that's, but I'm asking about the harm. What's the harm? You might believe it to be false. But the, the harm, harm is that there's a lie that is very mainstream and is being embedded into every institution. The critical perspectives of Chaya Raichik and Taylor Lorenz on transgenderism within the framework of democratic values. Reichick's concerns center around the perceived deception inherent in societal institutions, prompting reflection on the alignment of social values with fundamental truths. The examination of this lie underscores the impact of societal beliefs on individual freedom and authentic expression. The importance of upholding traditional truths and objective standards is emphasized, reflecting society's commitment to what is perceived as an objective reality. Lorenz contributes to the discussion by acknowledging diverse perspectives and experiences regarding gender identities, raising questions about the potential repercussions. While advocating for nuanced discussions on harm and truth, the focus remains on adults, with minors' freedom to choose being a collaborative decision with their parents. Both perspectives highlight the necessity of addressing concerns about social impacts and challenges to existing norms, albeit with a focus on excluding minors from these discussions.